Hey everybody, let's take a look at one of the standard extreme quests. We are going to take on Yamamba, who is one of those uh, Japanese yokais, I believe. So, um, the party I have here is uh, Lisa Hakai from the uh, Full Metal Alchemist collab. Hopefully, if you are uh, diligently finishing your collabs, you have an easy max luck on your hands. Uh, aside from that, we've got Walpurgis, uh, Kushinada, and uh, no, no, transcended. And as you can see, the big gimmick here is going to be mines. So make sure you bring someone along who can handle the mines, and maybe stay away from laser-focused uh, monsters. As you can see, there will be laser barriers. But honestly, no, no's strong enough that it's totally worth it to bring here. Um, but the big thing here is that the. Uh, uh, Dryad there is a key target for this level. Uh, you're gonna want to make sure to take him out because I believe he is the one that powers up Yamamba and that could end up doing a lot of uh, damage. So, but you know to make your lives harder these bulls are actually gonna get in the way uh, to access you know that Dryad. So uh, that's one reason why Nono is still good here despite the presence of laser bears as for the most part, she does have access to deal a good amount of damage. And then, uh, because that laser is you know, pretty darn thick, you can uh, hit a lot with just one hit of Nono. Assuming you're in the right uh, position. All right, now is our chance to get rid of him and you know, leave ourselves with this poor uh, evil grandma. Don't, don't be fooled by her normal looks. I mean, she, she gets pretty nasty looking afterwards. Um, but after, you know, after leaving her alone, it's not too bad. We'll have Walpurgis finish up and move on to the next stage. All right, again, strategy isn't too different. As you can see, there are pinchable uh, options here and you know, great thing with Walpurgis with her uh, static electricity attacks, you know, as long as you touch her, you should be able to deal damage to everybody on the stage. As well as uh, Lisa Hawkeye, her bump combo by definition will hit everybody. So actually bringing multiples of her, probably not a bad idea. Okay, maybe, maybe not too many. She, I don't know. Maybe her bump combo is enough to deal enough damage. I'm not sure, but still pretty uh, cool to see her get some uh, quick usage in an event quest. Alright. So yeah, I mean, like I was saying earlier, no, no, you know, does, will get shut out a little bit because of all the laser berries, but um, the amount of utility she can bring to this party is still pretty high, so. Uh, no no doubts of bringing her onto the stage at all. Fortunately, I was hoping to kind of get a better uh, positioning on her. She is a little bit too high for my taste, but we can fix that. So 20 turns, uh, that probably means we got three gauges. Yeah, three gauges. And you know, I mean, I've said it before, they're really the same strategy. Try and kill the Dryad as soon as you can. Um, he will end up powering up uh, Yamamba there, so uh, being able to take it out early, or I guess you know, just take out the boss directly quickly. You don't even have to worry about the dryad. Uh, pretty lucky, but luckily, there we go. That's good positioning with Nono. -No. Actually, what, let's see where the mini boss is. Oh, ooh. beautiful! Except you know, laser barrier, not. Not ideal. Um, yeah, Yamamba has that interesting, like, she has that sword attack that, uh, what was it? Bradley had, but seemed to go in three directions? I don't know. I think that's a new attack. At least that pattern. Anyway. Alright, so as you can see that Dryad has one turn left before she uh, it will power up Yamamba. Unfortunately Nono was not didn't have enough power to take 
uh, take Yamamba out. So now we're gonna have to deal with that damage. Um, that was good, but two attacks are coming, and yeah, oof, that hurt. And you know, if if uh, Lisa was actually in the range of attack for that sword attack, she, I might have wiped there. I'm not sure, but. That just illustrates how important it is to take out that Dryad as soon as you can. But now that we're on the last stage, gonna make you dance all night long. Uh, yep, that was the NA translation of that. Not too bad, actually. Uh, okay, so now we're on the final stages. Um, now, no, no, she her strike shot, uh, she does speed up and power up, but. Uh, she will return to the location as to where she first hits the boss and I was worried and as you can see I did that I would hit the bull first but actually thinking about it since uh, Yamamba has a laser barrier it actually didn't matter where Nono ended up so I might as well have used it just for that power up so uh, that's my mistake uh, Lisa I think that was just a power up speed up as well so oh, I think turned her to a pierce type sorry uh, but meh. Uh, gonna increase the attack against the first uh, type I hit since uh, Yamamba was the only one there. Uh, of course, she'll take the extra damage. Unfortunately, didn't really get that pull from Kuchinata like I would have hoped. Maybe it would have been better if I did a little more fighter to get in between the wall. But oh well, past me. I'm sure I knew he he knew what he was doing. Uh, yeah, gonna power up. There we go. No problem. Yamamba. And there we go. Last teleport at the end. Now, if you did pull on the, uh, what was it? The, uh, hatcher. I forget what the name of it was. Uh, you will need her for a few of the monsters if you want to ascend them. So maybe get them and go. Alright, and there you go. That is Yamamba. And that is all of the event quests, I believe. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye bye.